not to be outdone in the tourist attraction department, we have a few of our own here in South Florida, and he's one of them. He's the Love 94 hunk. Tonight, Michael Holmgren, star of those catchy Love 94 commercials. And those catchy, very visual commercials, the station was flooded with callers asking, who is this guy? Well, his name is Michael Holmgren, and he has just finished his second commercial for Love 94. When the action began, we were there to catch all of it. What happens when a radio station wants a new image? Television is one answer. WLVE's new TV campaign is alive with catchy music, familiar scenery, and an attention grabber named Michael Holmgren. I love 94. 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 Five, six, seven, eight. He's tall, dark, and handsome, and Love 94 is banking on his personality and charm to attract listeners. It's a Cinderella story of sorts for this Fort Lauderdale waiter, and he's taking it all in stride. I was discovered one night in uh, Fort Lauderdale, a restaurant I work at by the name of Chuck Steakhouse, and uh, producer, director were in for dinner, and his girlfriend was with him, so it's one of those things that they noticed me, and they wanted to get my attention as far as directing me towards the casting, which was held down in North Miami, so they gave me the information. About a week after, I went down, Went for the casting, there was about 50 guys there. And a couple of couple of days later, they got in touch with me and they said, we decided to use you for the spot. With no prior acting experience, Michael's resume weighed heavily on his good looks. But to the hundreds of women who tried out, it was not only necessary that they have the looks and the poise, but they had to have the ability to dance. Everybody cut, everybody cut. We're looking for a real good excitement on the girls. We're looking for um, the, the admiration. We want to see the admiration on their face. This is Mr. Landy Four, who they saw in the last commercial. They see him strutting down the street, and everybody wants to to uh, dance, and, and they want to show him that they admire him. And we're just looking for real enthusiasm and action on the girls. While director Richard Nicolella sought the look of admiration on the dancers, onlookers in Coconut Grove were doing some admiring of their own. Boy, I've never seen anything like her at work. With such a steamy story outline, it might seem inevitable that Michael would become big-headed. But ad team producer Russ Oasis knew he chose the right man for the part. He's just great. It's great working with him. His head is in the right place. And um, we, you know, made a deal with him before this commercial so that he could kind of be a representative person. And he'll be out on appearances uh, for Love 94 and you know you'll be able to meet him through the station and promotions and uh, contests and he'll be all around the town. Okay, stand by for action. Roll sound, roll camera. Slate in, mark it. Okay, and action. Hot! Hot! Very hot! After a quick lunch break and several spins around Commodore Plaza, the cast and crew were ready to call it a wrap. Even after two grueling days on location, his co-stars think highly of Mr. Love 94. He's a very nice guy. He doesn't look, he doesn't act the way he looks on camera. He looks because that's his part. He's quiet and, you know, sexy and everyone's following him. But he's very outgoing. He's very nice. After all the hard work, it was just a matter of time before they'd see the fruit of their labor on TV. W-L-V-E spells love. 94. Love 94's flashy TV campaign has launched Michael Holmgren as South Florida's newest sex symbol. And who knows, this could be the beginning of an illustrious career. At this point, I look at it right now as 
a real learning experience is something very new to me. But in 20 years from now, say I never do another job in my life, when I plug my video cassette in from the Love 94 spots that we've done the last six months, it's going to be very rewarding, regardless if I do another shot again in my life.